Say uh, who you are, how long you've been with uh, EXP, and where do you live? Hi everybody, Susie Truex. Um, I've been with EXP for two and a half years now, and I'm the chairperson of the Agent Advisory Council, and I'm also um, your representative on the board of directors. Where do you live? California, most of the time. All right. My name is Dwayne Hirsch, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm on the EXP field team. Yes, yes, Illinois, for one year and five months. Great, congratulations. Sarah? My name is Sarah Lee, and I am from the Athens, Atlanta area, and I have been with EXP since October of 2016. My name is Jeffrey Bunk, I'm from Orlando, Florida. I've been with EXP for just over two years now. I run a team of 14 agents in Orlando called the Funk Collection. Great. All right. Um, all of you, we have a lot of new agents here. Uh, the Agent Advisory Council has been around almost three years, I think three years in April, if I remember. Sarah, I'm going to start with you. You were part of the original group. Can you tell us, uh, speak to the agents that don't know anything about the Agent Advisory Council. What was kind of the original goal and maybe how is it evolving? Yeah, so the, the original goal of the Agent Advisory Council was to capture the agent voice. And it has been a, really an evolution when I think we started we had 2,500 agents, maybe not even quite. So being able to adapt to capturing the voice of 23,000, you can imagine that we've come up with different ways to do that, and you'll be seeing some more ways uh, coming very shortly that we'll be able to talk to you about. Right. Susie, can you add on to that a little bit? Uh, you were there also at the beginning. One thing I kind of talk about sometimes is back when you launched originally, uh, we didn't have workplace. Uh, the, the feedback was a little harder. So, how have things kind of changed in the last couple of years? Uh, I would say definitely being able to take the pulse of the agent has workplace has been amazing for that because you know within all the different groups. Well, what did Glenn say? Twenty five hundred groups now. Even if you can just read the comments and see sort of where people's um, thoughts are, and then also having the chat function. And, you know, we've always had the email address aac at exprealty.com if there's something that you want to, you know, send privately to us. Um, that's another way to reach out to us. So, yeah, it, what I loved about it was Glenn and Jason's original vision was, you know, here, here we're growing at that point in time in April of 2017. How do we keep our finger on the pulse of what the agents want, need, and desire? And so this was a way, you know, for, as we grew, to be able to continue to capture the agent voice and bring it up to the management level. And what we do with these, uh, these nice people is we give them a special superpower I don't think any of you have. We have them sign something called an NDA, non-disclosure agreement. And that allows us to share things. We are a transparent company. It's one of our core values. But they have super special x-ray transparency powers because we actually need them representing all of you when our uh, management team, our board, our leadership team, when we have some things we're thinking about a little further out, we need to be able to sometimes just get a quick answer or opinion on something. And they're super helpful there that we can share things in those meetings that eventually the rest of you will hear about, but we're really able to ask them some, some early questions and not have them go to jail. So that's really helpful as well. Uh, Jeff, you're one of the newer members of the group. Um, what do you see as the role of the Agent Advisory Council today? As the newest member of the group, it's really interesting seeing the Agent Advisory Council, how it's evolved. And we're not only getting information from you, but we are getting the information from the company. As a team leader, we are, and as an agent with the XP, we are so fortunate to be in a company that is so agent-centric and obsessed. We are the most obsessed co company in the world, and you are the customer. And we hear that from leadership, that you are the customer. And we want to know how you can serve your customer the best. Great. And Dwayne, you're the other uh, new member. Um, what are your impressions so far of kind of how things are how things are going? Uh, you know, are, are you guys? Do you feel like you're trying to fulfill your mission? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, from day one, in the first meeting that we uh, went to, that we had in the world under the new council, 
I learned that day that it was going to be something that was going to be very serious, uh, something that I had to be fully engaged in and not distracted from. And, you know, sometimes people treat these types of seats in a kind of a passive way and just kind of I'll be there and come and show up when I can. But this is something that, and for any of you that might take this on later, it's going to be something that you're going to have to be very committed to, very uh, dug in on the issues. And the thing that I want to see and like to see from agents is just be engaged in everything that's going on and it'll make us more effective in our jobs. Because if you have something, that, a voice that you want to, you know, you want to say something to us and let us know what's going on, we want you to present that information from an engaged position, from that perspective of someone that's really paying attention to what's going on. It's been wonderful. And I want to thank um, Susie and, and uh, Sarah and some of our former agent advisory council members and some that are not on stage with them. There's other members as well. They worked super hard at the beginning of the year, uh, redoing the charter for today's EXP. Uh, we have an actual charter. You can go into the, the work group and see it. And pretty soon, uh, it's going to be nomination time, right, Susie? Absolutely. Yeah, look for in workplace announcements. We're, you know, we rolled off some members and brought on six new members just for stability. But by January of 2020, your agent advisory council will be all, all brand new. We'll take on six new members. So I think we're gonna have nominations coming out either in November, December. Yep. And um, one of the things that was super important to us was to make sure that we got a diverse cross section of our agent population. Um, not all agents from one state, not all agents from one rev share group, you know, different ethnicities, different voices to represent all of you because we are EXP. Great. And Sarah, um, what makes a, a good member of this group? Like, like, how should you think about it? Yeah, so that's a great question. I think that one is you need to be very vested in the culture at EXP because that's what our role really is, is to collect the agent voice and then to <coughs> protect the culture as we grow. Um, so being very vested in that is important. And then also, um, as Dwayne mentioned, being able to dedicate the time because it does take time uh, and it's just not, it's a disservice to the to the board and the and what EXP has created with the agent's advisory council to not be able to spend that time and energy. Yeah, and I think one of the hardest things that as I've kind of worked with kind of both generations of the board is, um, it's super easy to talk about your own ideas and concerns, but to strategically kind of speak for many agents, you know, speak for all. Uh, if you're involved in the workplace, it's helpful. If you're involved in the world, it's helpful. If you talk to a lot of agents all the time, it's helpful because as someone that works with this group, if somebody ever says, well, I have this problem, my eyes immediately glaze over. So I'm like, it's not about I, it's about we, it's about us, right? So um, thank you guys so much for the dedication you have to the company and what you do every day. Sir and Susie, especially you guys have been doing it for a long time and we so appreciate the hours and the dedication and what you've done and so many others that have been part of the Agent Advisory Council have done and watch for more on Workplace Soup. You'll be hearing much more. Thank you guys. Because I've spoken too much, they turned my mic off. <laughs>